welcome to Createful Art. Today I'm going to paint one of my travel and painting series paintings inspired by the state of Kentucky. We had so much fun in Kentucky. We went to their caves, their awesome caves, and they have all these different kinds of trees and they have some really pretty lakes. So I'm going to draw on my travels and the inspiration that's going to give me and I'm just going to go with the flow and start painting here. So if you want to follow along, you can. You can get the reference photo to help you, but I recommend using a smaller canvas. So I'm going to give you the steps that I'm going to take and the techniques that I'm going to use and you can learn from them. Also, you may notice that I have a cold, so I'm going to do the minimal amount of talking that I can. Let's get started. And I'm gonna to try to keep to a palette, a limited palette that we're using um, for the fall season, which includes magenta, white, black, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, thalo cyan blue, and bronze yellow. Um, to begin with, I like to use my gesso and I like to use my inks. So I have my yellow medium azo and my nathal crimson right now. I'm gonna start also with my big fat wash brush and I'm going to color the entire background and be very playful and fun with it. This is a great time to just get into the mood of painting. You don't have to have something specific in mind, you just play with the paints. This will help you have the desire to get started every time and not feel so much pressure. And then you'll be ready for the next step once it dries. Now I'm going to start putting together my composition and to do that I'm going to block in the sky. I'm going to take some Thalo Cyan Blue but just a tiny tiny bit. I'm going to mix that with my orange and it's going to make a gray and I'm just going to put a little bit of that into my white. So I'm going for something foggy against and muted against the fall colors. So I just want to show you my palette here. Now I've got this gray that I made with my orange and my blue and a lot of white. And if you look into my painting here, you can see that color back here along the edges. And that's what gives it that foggy look. So if I back up here and I add that through added. here. And then I have my cadmium orange, which I mixed with my yellow. And I have my blue here, right here, that I mixed with my yellow too to get this green. And I have my black to darken that. And that's it, that's all the colors that I'm using in this. And as you can see, you, the background, I leave some of that to show through. Now I recommend if you're painting along to grab the reference photo. It's right over here. There's a link that's going to pop up or you can get it that link in the description below. And those links are going to take you to where you can sign up to become a Create Flower Art member and you can enjoy weekly art lessons and my reference photos when you sign up. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to create the composition. I'm going to put this in speed because it's going to take a while.
Okay, so I've got the composition down and now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start adding in details to the trees and where I want the focal point and that kind of thing. Okay, so most of the time you pick a focal point, something that you want to stand out. So for me, it's going to be this area that's a tree. This is the second in between step and then you'll go in and put the finishing details at the end. couple techniques that I've used. I've used a lot of glazing, you know, pulling down in areas so it, but you can still see back behind it. That's glazing. I've used some scumbling. So all these art lessons are right here and they teach you more about all of these techniques. Scumbling is when you don't have hardly anything on your brush and you just go in and make slight changes, softening or changing the color. And I'm just using my flat brush and this really crappy brush <laughs> right here. See it? It's really crappy. That's what I've been using for the scumbling. And then my wash brush over here. So I took some time to step away from it. And now I'm going to go in with the finishing details. And this is a great time to take a picture of your painting and see if there's anything that's pulling your eye to it. For example, right here, this really dark line. And this one right here pulls your eye to it and you have to decide, is that really what I want my focal point to be? Because what the first thing that pulls your eye to, that is called the focal point. So I will go in and I will soften things that I want to soften. I'll add details and the things that I want to pull the eye more. And I'll make little changes to the colors and areas so that it's the color that I want. And that's what I do in this step and then I sign my work. 
So the finishing touches really have to do with your personal preferences and our paintings are not going to be exactly the same. So you have to go in and change yours according to how you feel it needs to be changed. I have an art lesson on how to critique your own work so you'll know what you need to fix and what you want to keep. I hope you learned a lot by watching today and thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and share this with your art loving friends. They really enjoy that. If you haven't already, sign up for our weekly art lessons. They're going to help you become a better artist. You learn all the important things about art and you get all the reference photos. So go ahead and check that out and then you can watch more videos and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!